Hi there, it's Adrian Brown from Serve. Today, we're going to be talking about um, breaking through brick walls, overcoming brick walls. The reason I'm doing this talk today is because I do talk to people and work with people a lot about helping them design an effective business process. But there's a really, there's one business process that everyone, is common to everyone, and that's the business process we have in here. It's the thing that we use to navigate our way through life. It's how we cope with things, how we decide to do things, not to do things. The thing about that system that we have in there is made up of three real key elements. First of all, it's our belief systems, our self-esteem, what we believe in ourselves, the things we believe in outside of ourselves, and then also the stimulation, the environment that we're in. And those three things create this perception we have of the world. When we come up against a brick wall, it's actually a really good thing to identify because the brick wall is the boundary between the different zones we live our life in. So the three zones really that we live our life in. The first zone is our comfort zone. That's the thing where we really are um, running by our old lizard brain sort of attitude. You know, it's the thing where we have to, in our comfort zone, we can reproduce, we can feed ourselves, we can keep ourselves safe. And we're programmed to do that. As a, as a creature, we are programmed to move to our comfort zone all the time. So we actually have to actively push ourselves out of our comfort zone to take on new challenges. So the next zone we get to is the stretch zone. It's where we have to push ourselves a bit. The stimulation is far greater. Um, we are on purpose. We've got some sort of challenge we're working towards. We're showing some of our passion, but we're stepping out of the comfort zone. And so there's a barrier between those two. We actually have to change how we operate, change our mindset to move from the comfort zone into the zone of stretch, the stretch zone. But then there's a third zone. And the third zone is actually where the real juice happens. It's where excellence occurs. And that is the breakthrough zone. That's where you actually get to a place where you're really doing stuff. If you are in the comfort zone, the sorts of things that you're going to be doing is basically making sure that things stay the same. It's all about trying to keep it normal, trying to keep it safe. The biggest controlling factor of keeping us in the comfort zone is our lizard brain, our prehistoric brain. And it's programmed to make sure we can reproduce, make sure we can feed ourselves and make sure we can keep ourselves safe. That's all it's there to do. When something comes along and challenges you or makes you feel uncomfortable, the lizard brain is going to do anything it can to keep you in that comfort zone. Now, the trouble is, we've got this new bit of technology on the front of our head called prefrontal cortex, the bit that does all the thinking, the creative bit. That is always thinking how we're going to get outside the comfort zone. But it does something else as well. Because in days gone by, what we'd be frightened of is a saber-toothed tiger jumping in through and eating us. Those fears were real. They were life-threatening. But the prefrontal cortex is where we have this lovely thing called imagination. Imagination can imagine fears and imagine things that seem real, but actually they're not. And fear is a lovely one. Fear stands for false evidence appearing real. So we can imagine worries, doubts, fears, concerns, and those can seem to our lizard brain just as important, just as vital as a lion running through the door about to eat you. We have to be able to distinguish between real fear, the fear that's out there, and created fear. Because the brick walls we put up in our life can be as big as they like, because the only limit to the size of those brick walls is actually our imagination. Fears that we create ourselves are things like fear of looking good, fear of being embarrassed, fear of doing something stupid, fear of getting it wrong, fear of success, fear of failure. All of those fears are fears we generate in our prefrontal cortex. We imagine them. They're not real fears like a lion or a bus is going to hit you or something's going to kill you. When we move into the stretch zone, what we're doing is we're actually looking at those fears and realizing that we're doing that and we're coming up with ways to address them, to take note of them, to mitigate them. We have our purpose and our passion and our vision and because we started to create a plan, when that fear comes up as all, you know, fear about doing video for example, fear about doing Facebook lives, getting in front of stage or talking in front of people, but when you have a, a plan that requires you to do that and you're not going to get to your plan unless you overcome that fear, then we can start to rationalise and we can come up with strategies that enable us to move forward because we are able to question the fear. We're looking for evidence about a fear. We can actually confront the fear and put it aside and move on and choose to move forward. And that power of choosing is really about choosing to listen to a fear or not listen to a fear. If we are doing that, we can go so far. There's a point where you get to, you reach something, some concern, some worry that can stop you. 
And that's your next brick wall. That's your next limiting belief. And these things are going to continue to happen throughout your life. It's not something you're going to, oh, I fixed all my limiting beliefs and off you go because tomorrow something else is going to show up. Something you hadn't expected before, something you hadn't planned for or something you weren't prepared for. So when we go into the breakthrough zone, what we're doing here now is we're actually going to look at the perception we have, but we're actually going to come up with a new perception. We're going to have a new story of how we can cope in the world. And when we start to do that, what happens is we're able to identify the limiting beliefs we have. We can see, we get the evidence of how they're holding us back. And then we can put in strategies and processes in place to help us overcome that. So, you know, going from the comfort zone to the stretch zone is something that you can do pretty much on your own. It's just, it's just a, a mindset change. It's actually believing yourself. You may have to have some processes that you do. You might uh, do goal mapping or you might do goal setting or you might do meditation. You might do different things to quieten the old lizard brain down so that you can move forward with ease and be a bit uncomfortable, but that's okay. You can justify that because it's meeting your purpose, it's meeting your passion, it's meeting what you're trying to achieve. But to take the next step up to the real challenge level, to go beyond that to the breakthrough zone, what we need to do is actually start to build around us supporting structures that help us to do that. Because if you're going to just climb over a six foot wall, you don't need a big scaling ladder, you know, you need ropes and all the stuff mountaineers use, because it's just a six foot wall, you can stick a ladder and off you go, over the top. But you make that a 20 foot wall, well, a 20 foot ladder is a bit more of an issue. You need someone to hold it at the bottom so you can get up over the top. And then you probably need something on the other side to get down the other side. But you make that a cliff. Now we're talking real issues. We need to put in some real simple support structures to help us. We might need a, a buddy to climb with us to help us show the way. We might need um, security ropes and safety ropes and safety harnesses to make sure that we can do it safely and get to the top. You're mitigating the risk by putting systems and processes in place. So in business, what are those systems and processes? Well, okay, I'm a business coach, so people use business coaches as somebody to help them meet a great challenge. When someone's out there really pushing for gold, you know, the Olympic athlete going for gold, that sort of person is really exciting to work with because you're actually just helping them stay on course, stay on track. And keeping them, you know, keeping them focused on the challenges and the things they need to do. When you are really clear that you are in the, the breakthrough zone and you've got some support, then you're looking for the stimulus. You're actually searching out the stimuli, the, the things that are going to challenge you. You're searching them out because by finding those things, you're going to be able to address them and challenge them. So you're always looking for challenges that are going to take you on to the next step. The one thing you have in that zone is fantastic clarity about the end game, about where you're going to. Because by having that, as obstacles arrive, you can much easily navigate past those obstacles and then find your way back to your track. If you don't have a clear path in front of you, then if you get knocked off, you might not realize that you've been knocked off very far. You might have been knocked off a huge distance and to try and get back would be really difficult. So actually, by having collaborative people working with you, they help you stay on track. It may be your teammate that is able to help you keep on your track, to keep that clarity in place. Because then, as you go for the big challenge, when you get knocked off track, you can get back on track really quickly. So the three things to remember are this. First of all, we have a perception of the world, how it works around us. It's not real, it's made up by us. That's what we deal with every day. We deal with that perception every day. And that perception is made up of our belief, of what's out there in the world, our self-esteem, what we think about ourselves, and the stimuli, the environment we live in. And when we get that, that helps us to identify the three levels we live in. The first level is our comfort zone, which is where we're not going to get much done, but it's safe. Then there's the stretch zone, where we start to take those first steps towards achieving some, towards achieving some big goal. And then there's the breakthrough zone. That's the one where we get to do the really good work. And in those three different areas, we really have to understand, we have to think and behave differently. Because in the stretch zone and the breakthrough zone, that's where we need to look out, find support, find people who are going to join us on our journey, join us on our quest, and give us that support, give us that help, and give us that guidance.